Fred Zakarian Christian Gnosticism. What is it? You all know what it is because you have been watching the videos in the last years. And uh, I have added my name, Fred Zakarian Christian Gnosticism. Before it was without my name, but I have added it now uh, to give it a specificity, to be specific about uh, my personality and also to give a, a chance to other people having the same surname because I'm connected with uh, four countries, two countries in the Middle East and two countries in Europe and uh, they are all relatives and family, near family and uh, the outer circle, the inner circle and the outer circle of, of the family all having the same family name. So to give them the chance also in the future them or even their descendants to evaluate and to form some sort of uh, Gnosticism or mysticism or movement or thought or philosophy based on their own uh, thinking, uh, based on their own uh, religion or faith or uh, tendency or ideology, be it uh, religious or uh, laymanship, whatever they think or, or even scientific or even of any sort so for example if uh, one of the persons his name is John uh, I have composed now the Fred Zakarian Christian Gnosticism John for example is a Buddhist it can be uh, John Zakarian Buddhist uh, Gnosticism or, or Buddhist uh, mysticism or John Zakarian uh, Hinduist uh, ideology or uh, thought or mysticism. So this is co the composition now. Uh, so the, fir the first one is the name and family name. The second one is the type of uh, uh, spirituality the person has, you know, the type of tendency, which, which tendency it is, which type of religion it is, uh, be it uh, Christian or Hinduist or Buddhist or Confucianist or New Age or uh, some sort of uh, Greek uh, philosophy, Roman Greek philosophy or, or even scientific thought. And then the last one is the type uh, of uh, uh, descendancy you have. Is it Gnosticism? Is it mysticism? Is it philosophy? Is it ideology? Or what, what is it? So it is based on three columns. So this is uh, the new nomenclature, it is uh, the new protocol of naming it, but uh, at the end of the, the day you don't have to have a name. You, you can, you, all of us, we have an, all, our own thought, spiritual thought, and some of us uh, think that you don't even have to share it with, uh, with anyone. But my opinion, is only my fantastic opinion, you know, fantasy uh, uh, opinion, is that uh, if your thought uh, thinks that uh, whatever you are thinking leads to eternal life and bliss and if you don't think in that way it will go to eternal damnation then you have the responsibility to share it with other people and this is what I have been doing uh, because the Word of God says that if you do not, do not share uh, the, the belief that will give them eternal bliss and they will go to hell, they will curse you forever and ever. Imagine before as an evangelical, I was an evangelical fundamentalist. And uh, we, we think, you know, we thought, because I was an evangelical fundamentalist, we thought that uh, the, the vast majority of people around the world, they are going to hell because they have not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal savior. They have not accepted the salvation by faith uh, by grace through faith in the Lord Jesus. They do, do not believe in the Bible as the Word of God. They do not share the Christian values. So once they die, finish. They are uh, in hell without return. There is no purgatory. There is no uh, forgiveness of God. You know, the for forgiveness is while you are living. Once you die, kaput. It's finished. So that thought was very dangerous for the people. 99% of the people were going away, were dying. My whole uh, family, you know, they were all uh, doom, doomless. You know, they were all doomed.
to, to hell, all of them. So I was living really a nightmare. I was living a, a nightmare and I had the uh, responsibility, you know, oh my God, you know, they are going to hell. And I was trying to witness to them, but there was a wall until the end. There was a wall. So the only thing I could do is prayer, is to pray for them, you know, for their salvation. So I had the responsibility to share because once they die, they will be burning in hell forever and ever and, and cursing me, you know, curse my son, Freddy. He did not insist with me. He just talked to me uh, 10, 20, 30 times and I refused and he stopped. He did not tell me there would be this burning hell. Uh, my father would be saying the same thing, would be cursing me, you know, forever and ever and ever. Curse my son, Freddy Zakaria, Farid Zakaria, curse him, curse him. They will be cursed, my brother, my sister, they will be cursing me forever and ever and ever. This was my belief. You say, only your belief. No, no, almost a billion, almost a billion people now, not a billion, the evangelicals, Protestant and ev evangelicals with all the den denominations. Officially, they believe in this. Even if there are, uh, if, even if you know many evangelicals, they say, no, they don't believe this. The official belief is that. They don't know it precisely, but I was a leader. I was an evangelist. I was going around the world. I was going around, you know, I went in many European countries, many doing uh, courses, etc. I was going on all, uh, churches in North and South Italy as a preacher, three days preacher, doing courses, you know, to people, three days courses, preaching people in the streets. For 30 years I've been doing this. So I, I was a leader. I knew what is the official uh, thought. If you don't uh, witness to them, they will curse you forever. So this was my res responsibility. So if you thought, if you think that what you are thinking does not lead to hell, then you can keep your faith for yourself. You don't have to share it. You know, now the Fred Zakarian Christian Gnosticism, I believe that we are all saved. You know, uh, universal salvation to all. Whoever believes in the Lord Jesus is saved, you know. Uh, even there are many religions, monotheistic religions, they say, we believe in the Lord Jesus. They are saved. Even if they don't believe that he has died and, and risen, you know, crucified and risen, even if they don't believe in the death and resurrection and, and the crucifixion, they are still saved because they believe in the Lord. They love the Lord Jesus. So they, they will have uh, eternal bliss, eternal salvation. But even those who refused the Lord Jesus, no, he, we don't believe in, in Jesus. He never ex existed. He is a myth. We don't believe in the incarnation of God. God does not, we do not believe even in God. They will still be saved because uh, God is eternal and his, he has an infinite love. His love is infinite. You cannot fathom, you cannot imagine what infinite is. We are limited. You know, we have from here to here, but his love is infinite. Even Apostle Paul says that the love of God is so profound, is so large, is so long, is so high that we cannot even imagine it. Uh, of course, there will be a reprehension. Why didn't you believe in my uh, incarnation? Look what I have done for you. Look what I have created. You know, there are an infinite number of big bangs every fraction of second not only one big bang infinite number of uh, big bangs infinite number of uh, uh, worlds infinite number of uh, many things and he will show the person he will take one by one he will give him the eyesight look what i have done here look what i have done there look what i have done there and the person will watch and will see and he will have a heart attack and god will wake him up look over here look what over here some will say Oh, there will be no heart, we will, will, will be not in flesh, we will be in spirit. Who said we will be in spirit? The many religions say that when you burn, you will be burning in your flesh. Even the evangelical belief, you know, even the Catholic belief. They, when you burn in hell, it will be your... Uh, even other beliefs and other uh, monotheistic beliefs, they believe that it will be in flesh. And once your, the fire consumes your flesh, uh, it will be given to you again and you will be burned again and again. So the fact that you believe that, uh, uh, you know, there will be uh, this small 
uh, purgatory that God will take you and show you you'll have a heart attack and God will wake you up and show you again. It will be just a few heart attacks, you know, three, four, five, six, five, seven, eight times. I don't know how many. What about the despots and the dictators of the last centuries, five, six hundred centuries ago, like uh, Tamar Lane and Genghis Khan? What about them? They will also be saved, but maybe the purgatory for them will be longer. Maybe it will not be only six, seven, eight uh, heart attacks. Maybe it will be more. I don't know. God knows. But uh, he will say, you did not believe me. You, you made all those uh, genocides. But at the end, he will say, my love is infinite. Enter in the joy of thy father. So this is the love of God. This is what God is. We have to believe in him. We have to know that he loves us so much and he uh, wants us to be united with him. That's why the Fred Zachary and Christian Gnosticism is uh, pushing you and pushing people to try to uh, formulate your own thought, the thought based on your name and family name and the uh, spiritual tendency you have, you know, the orientament, and then God will bless you and will bless your family. Let's never forget et verbum caro factum est, which means, and God became flesh. Et verbum caro means carne, flesh, factum est. God has become flesh in the form of the Lord Jesus. May the glory be to him forever and ever. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Whoever believes in me has eternal life. Whoever will die, even if he dies, he will be resurrected and he, he will be joined with me. So believe in the Lord Jesus. He loves you and he wants you to be saved. If you believe in him and you die in this minute, you go directly into heaven with all your sins because we are always sinning. The word of God says that uh, all humanity have sinned and is short of the glory of God. So we are short. Whatever we think or we do is always, uh, sometimes is positive, but even if we think a negative thing about a person, we have committed a sin in front of him because his sanctity is infinite. So he cannot accept our presence in his glory unless we believe in the incarnation. And he has incarnated, he became flesh in this world. I believe that he became flesh even 3,000 years ago, 4,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago, 5 million years ago. He has always become flesh. And uh, civilizations throughout history have gasped and have said that there is something. And they could not express it in a proper way because of the floods, of the earthquakes, of the fires, of the wars, of uh, many things that happened. We do not have uh, clear testimony but we know for sure that they have witnessed the incarnation of uh, uh, the creator of all in the modern era which is the last 2000 years we have a clear picture clearer picture and we know that a man called Jesus Christ became uh, flesh and saved us but even before that he would be an unjust God if he would just uh, come in the last 2,000 years. What about 3,000 years? What about the people who, who lived before Christianity? So he has always incarnated. Be glory to him forever and ever. Thank you for your attention. And don't forget your personal contact with the Creator. This is the most important thing, that you must have your contact. Try to uh, follow and to watch the Fred Zachary and Christian Gnosticism thoughts and you will understand more about this movement and uh, about how you can contribute in your prayers, you know. If you don't want to constitute your own thought, your own Gnosticism, your own mysticism, you can pray for this movement that uh, God will bless it. Because in the future, as uh, Revelation chapter 13, we will have, we will have one world religion and it will be wonderful. But towards the end, it will be terrible because will come a dictator, will come, he will be very strong, and he will 
ask obedience of all the world to him, to bow to him and to adore him. So, uh, and whoever will not do that will be eliminated. This is what uh, Revelation chapter 13 and the whole Revelation theme is about uh, the last end times of this world. Thanks once again and uh, laudetur Jesus Christus, which means glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.